Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about what is an appraisal contingency in a real estate transaction. There are so many contingencies in a real estate transaction, it can get confusing. I want to make sure you understand them all, so I created a series of videos that will explain each of the different contingencies that are most common. So be sure to watch them all. So what is an appraisal contingency? An appraisal contingency protects the buyer in case of a low appraisal. An appraisal contingency is typically only used if a loan is being obtained, and it is very common to see one included in a purchase and sale contract. If an appraisal comes in higher than the sales price, then it is a bonus for the buyer. But if it comes in low, it creates a problem because the lender will only loan based on the appraised amount of the house. If the appraised value of the house comes back less than the purchase price, the buyer can give notice of low appraisal. They have to do this within three days and include a copy of the appraisal report. If you are a seller, you do not typically get a copy of the appraisal unless it comes in low. It is paid for by the buyers and it is their property. Usually the buyer's agent will hear from the lender whether or not it met value and if any repairs are needed and they will transfer that information to your listing agent. So what happens if a buyer gives the seller a notice of low appraisal? There are four options. Number one, a reappraisal or reconsideration of value at the seller's expense in an amount equal to or greater than the sales price. Now I will warn you, unless there is an error on the appraisal, this rarely works, but it is worth a try. The lender also has to approve this process and approve the appraiser. Number two, sellers can agree in writing to reduce the purchase price to the appraised amount. Number three, the seller can reduce the sales price to an amount higher than the appraised value and ask for the buyers to pay the additional funds to make up the difference between the sales price and the appraised value. Or four, the seller can reject the low appraisal. If the seller delivers a reappraisal or reconsideration of value at or above the purchase price, or agrees to reduce the purchase price to the appraised value and the lender accepts the response, then the buyer is bound to move forward if they are getting a conventional loan. If they are getting an FHA, VA, or USDA loan, then they are not bound to buy the home, but they have the option to continue to closing. If a seller chooses to reject the low appraisal, the buyer then has three days to either waive the appraisal contingency or terminate the agreement and receive their earnest money back. If the seller chooses to propose a reduced price that is higher than the appraised value and have the buyer pay additional funds, then the buyer has three days to accept the proposal and show proof of additional funds or terminate the agreement and receive their earnest money back. If a buyer is getting an FHA, VA, or USDA loan, the buyer is not obligated to complete the purchase unless they receive an appraisal certificate by an endorsed lender showing the appraised value. The appraised value shows the maximum mortgage that an FHA, VA, or USDA lender will insure. An appraiser can also call out repairs that are required to be done prior to a loan approval. These are typically safety issues, but FHA, VA, and USDA can have a little stricter requirements compared to a conventional loan. An appraiser will require for all loan types that there be carbon monoxide detectors on each level of the home and that the water heater be double earthquake strapped. A buyer can elect to not include an appraisal contingency, but without this contingency, a buyer may have to change their loan type, loan amount, interest rate, or contribution in order to cover the purchase price or if a buyer is unable to close due to a low appraisal, the seller would keep their earnest money. The appraisal contingency is quite complex. Low appraisals do not happen a lot, but they do happen. It is super important to have a knowledgeable real estate agent that knows the rules and how to negotiate on your behalf, whether you are a buyer or a seller. If you have any questions regarding the appraisal contingency or any other real estate questions, please comment below. Be sure to watch my video on what is a financing contingency. You can see the link above and it will be in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for watching. 
please be sure to like this video and share with your friends and make sure you subscribe. I will see you next time.